don't laugh at me i know i'm doing a lot of blurbs but you <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back once again <laughs> this is your girl Eunice Hater, and I am back with another video back with another banger thank you so much for all my new subscribers so many of you guys have subscribed to my channel and thank you guys thank you a million we've reached a thousand subscribers i actually never took our time to properly celebrate that but thank you so much i'm so grateful from the bottom of my heart this year we're going bigger we're going better and once again happy new year i'm sure you'd have seen my other video um before this one or maybe the other one will come out first but whichever way once again happy new year and i hope this one is a prosperous new year for you so as we have seen um by the title below not we as you have seen by the title below today's um video is about vision boards and it inspired me so much because a madam that's behind the camera <laughs> reminded me that um I actually brought it to my attention that some of the things that I wrote on my vision that I put on my vision board last year they came to pass and when I looked at it attentively I realized that actually most of the stuff came to pass and it's not something that I actually put in so much energy in doing last year and I think I'm gonna link that video up here when we went for that vision board lesson and um, yeah I don't think it's something that I really took seriously it's just something I did and I left it there but it actually speaks true to the scripture um, for those of you that are religious for those of for those of you that are Christians it actually speaks true to the scripture which is Habakkuk 2 verse 2 and it says write the vision down and make it clear so that he that sees it will run with the vision so it's very important for you to write your vision down to picture stuff you understand to to um, it's called manifestation basically you're manifesting what you want your year to look like I'm speaking about this because it's something I experienced something that has worked for me if it honestly doesn't work for you that is also another thing but if you'd want to try it out I would honestly encourage that you do um, the year is still at the beginning phase and even if you do watch this video probably only maybe you'll watch it in March in June in July um, don't feel like it's too late to start you understand it's never too late for you to start you would be surprised what six months can do for you you would be surprised what God can do for you in that short time frame that you believe oh it probably is too late and with that said anything else that I have to say I'll probably drop in between the video we had guys I got the exact same bottle the exact same bottle on my birthday okay no this one was red it was red but i got a narciso perfume i didn't necessarily want a narciso perfume but maybe this year i'll be more specific on the kind of perfumes that i want maybe you know the universe will just hear me <laughs> so everything here basically is things that i did and i didn't actually consciously come back to my vision body and say that oh my gosh this is actually something that i wanted i wanted to travel i've traveled i traveled for the first time in namibia last year went to a lodge for the first time so many other cute things that happened so we're gonna get straight into the video and let's go Before you start um, creating a vision board, it is very, very important, or I mean before you start um, selecting your images, it is very, very important that you create for yourself an ambience, something that will put you in a beautiful, lively and vibey spirit. And you can also put some background music, something that you enjoy playing and also just light a little candle just to, ooh, child. Oof, damn, I feel like I'm gonna burn my head. Okay take two of that one as i was saying something that would just make you feel like you know you're in the mood you know that manifesting time Whew, damn okay that manifesting time you know because it's very important before you start selecting out your images and searching for them in the internet that you have already searched for them because if you do find yourself on the internet you'll find yourself getting attracted to every single beautiful image that is out there so you can also pour yourself a glass of wine a glass of juice or something that really just tickles your fancy and don't forget to start um that music something that will just really put you in the mood before you actually print out your stuff guys when you're collecting your stuff together i just forgot to mention you need to journal and write down and be very specific and intentional 
about what exactly you want to see on your vision board because you just want to go in the internet and um choose out random stuff so you want to categorize your life in a way that that's your career goals your financial goals um your health goals fitness goals um personal achievements and so many other things you just want to put the stuff in different types of categories then you know exactly how you're going to have your vision board just so that you also have a vision for your vision board and also something that's very important is that um, it's best to create this when you're alone um, because that's the best time that your energy your creation and thoughts do come into play and sometimes if you really do want to be with someone it's best to be with someone that you know that um, it's someone that wishes you well someone that matches your creative energy someone that will help your vision um, come to life because i'm also a believer of keep it a secret until it is done so yeah so guys i've already went ahead and written my goals because these are things i really did do in a time where i was inspired a time where i was you know um motivated and whatever so you can really just start out by writing the year out for yourself and the year obviously is 2022 which i already did here the year 2022 so you just start out writing out all your goals over here thing like 2022 make it look cute and just write down all your goals and you know you can start by you know numbering them out do you want to accomplish 10 15 things or it doesn't matter 22 things you know for the year 2022 make sure that before you really do go on the internet you need to have to have written down so that when you do go on the internet you're searching with purpose you're searching with um a clear vision of what exactly you want because the internet is a bunch it has a bunch of things and you'll probably get distracted with every other beautiful image that you come across you'll probably be like oh yeah and also that's why it's important to always create your vision board when you're also by yourself because sometimes if you see someone else's vision board next to you if you're doing like a vision board party or whatever you would easily get distracted and say oh i also want that image i also want that image but you know it's very very um important that you are alone most of the time um and yeah so guys this is basically it so make sure that you write it down you manifest it so this is manifestation make sure you guys um the things you need to create a vision board firstly you need some glue stick obviously scissors to cut out the bad energy i'm joking and you need to have printed out or you can use old magazine articles i just printed out a little bunch of stuff that i want to um that i envision myself which i created on a word document and i will show you guys in a bit on the screen so in my personal experience i find it way better to use google which is in this case pinterest than just paging through a bunch of uh, images in the magazine because that actually distracts you at least with google when you put in for example i want to grow financially you know you're just going to see finances and not a perfume ad before you get to your actual image um you would obviously need a brand oh, not necessarily brand new a frame a poster you can even create a poster you don't have to go all fancy and maybe buy a, f a frame because i mean they're quite pricey it's this was 130 dollars i got it from crazy store and i love this one actually it's bigger um I, and i love this too it would be nice to just have it's bigger and it's flatter and i just like it it's bigger than the one that i had now the reason why i went out to get a new one was because the one i had last year broke it fell and it broke and i really love this one i got it from pep home maybe that's why it broke I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Something I forgot to mention. Um, there are actually quite a few things that I forgot to mention um, that I wish I could fit in this um, short video. But it's that, um, guys, when you're searching or when you're writing down your goals, for example, you want to travel more this year, you need to learn to be um, specific. You need to find reason. Let's say you say you want to get a house this year. Are you just going to find any beautiful image of a house that you're just going to put there? No, you need to find something that's realistic to you, something that fits your goal, something that, you know, matches something that would be um something you'd want to achieve it doesn't necessarily i don't mean you should think small i'm not saying don't think too big um but just you know aim 
um yeah you get what i mean and also if you're saying travel for example where do you want to travel this year do you want to go to brazil do you want to go to spain do you want to go out of the country maybe you're not sure of the country you know but you know that okay definitely i would want to go to an island this year or you want to travel uh, more lodges in namibia so learn to be more specific let me say you're an influencer you want to work with brands which brands do you want to work with you know put them down don't just say i want to work with more brands what brands you know specify a few you know um it's not necessarily that you're only um achieve the goals that you have written there sometimes you know god is amazing and not even sometimes all the time is amazing and you will achieve beyond and above what you've actually even set down for yourself on that vision board so don't limit yourself and also don't be um too small and also try to be realistic in something that matches your environment and yeah now that you've cut um your thing out you've removed the other part you'd obviously want to have it um this way paste best you'd want to paste it this way so that when you do have it you're gonna turn it like this you're gonna turn it like this or you can get separate paper if you want and paste it on that so it's gonna look something like that after i've pasted everything so firstly i'm gonna start out with um there's so many things that I got that I really loved, but ugh, I made my pictures bigger, but I love this gold, guys. I actually want to put it in a little thing, actually in this one also. I want to get a little frame for it and just put it by my vanity table. I find it so beautiful. I made all the pictures this size, but then I think I'll prefer to use the smaller canvases that I took, that I cut out. I'm going to start with this um, 2022 because I feel like um, you need to be intentional about what the year is and be reminded what year it is. Right probably at the center, I'll put it right here at the center, 2022 or maybe here, which way should we put it, center or up here or middle, center right? Oh. Could have been stuck. <laughs> the other very important thing guys you want to have of yourself is a picture of yourself um, you can put it in the center or somewhere, but it should be on your vision board. A picture of a time where you felt your level best in life. Like, just this, and this is really a time that I really felt one of my best. I just wanted to use another picture, but I couldn't access it because I was using a computer, blah, 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 blah. But this is one of the times I really felt my very best. And it should just be a thing of you reflecting all the time that, you know, there was a time like that in my life where I felt like this. So on days where you feel very low, um you you go back to that it's like your alter ego that's your alter ego you know your inner beyonce you get what i'm saying your inner you the girl my inner rich girl you want to have us in the center so guys this is basically where we at obviously i'm not really going to show you guys everything that is on here i'm just giving an idea so these are like my career goals obviously i want to give more in 2022 and self-care my faith my spiritual life guys everybody knows that i'm a perfume hun obviously the money the money where the money resides it should be there all the time but basically you get an idea i want to travel more um things in that line and obviously me in the center as my alter ego and i've got a check writing to myself and i am going to write it out here um so yeah basically you have an idea of what i'm talking about Okay, and we can, and, and for the last piece of the puzzle, there we go. It's the self-care checklist to make sure to check in all the time. Prioritize self-care this year, and voila, we are done. And that's it, guys. Um, that's it for our vision board, and voila, did this in less than. Um, uh, what is this less than 10 minutes the short video and yeah i love it it looks beautiful it has everything so obviously i took like this whole week to basically meditate on this stuff 
but ideally when you are putting up your pictures and stuff um, you'd want to even play inspirational music uh, for those that are Christians pray over your vision board manifest it thank God for everything that you're going to receive like I thank God for this I thank God for this I thank God that I'm gonna be a much more generous giver in 2022 that I'm gonna give more multiple streams of income that are coming from everywhere thank God for just every little uh, thing so you can make your vision board bigger you can make it smaller you know you can take it however um, you feel like doing so thank you once again guys for watching my youtube video uh, i know this is quite short straight to the point nothing hectic if you have anything extra to add onto the video do let me know in the comment sections below and i will see you guys in another video don't forget to like share subscribe and that's it from me today bye and god bless you